Jim was a huge Pittsburgh Pirates baseball fan. Jim was a member of the Knot Hole Gang. Uh, it was an organization set up by a local department store where you could get autographs of the Pittsburgh Pirates, and set up autograph sessions and interviews and things of that nature. Of all the Pittsburgh Pirates, Jim's favorite player was Sid Bream. He was the starting first baseman. What Jim didn't know is that Sid Bream was no superstar. He was good, but he wasn't great. Yeah, he kind of stunk. He had a bad hip, leg or something. It was all jacked up. In 1990, the Pirates didn't renew Sid Bream's contract, so he ended up with the Atlanta Braves. The series was tied 3-3, and Atlanta braced for another Game 7. The Pirates, who had lost the previous two league championship series, seemed to be finally on their way to the World Series, taking a two-run lead into the bottom of the ninth. But who will ever forget what happened next? Base is loaded. Two outs. A lot of room in right center. If he hits one there, we can dance in the streets. The 2-1. Swung line drive left field. One run is in. Here comes Breen. Here's the throw to the plate. He is safe. Breen's run. Breen's run. Breen's run. Breen's run. Breen's win. Breen's win. Breen's win. Breen's win. Jim was crushed and devastated. Baseball was dead to him. After that, Jim just kind of went nuts. Jim went weeks without wearing a shirt. He didn't seem sad or upset. However, he wouldn't wear a shirt. Playing with his toys, riding his bike. Building Legos. We couldn't get the kid to wear a shirt. After a while, this phase passed, and he never really explained what that was all about. 